Hi YouTubers, thanks for stopping by. In today's video I thought it would be cool to take the Boss DS1 distortion pedal and put it up against the DS1 model that's in my Boss GX100 uh, pedal and see if we can get them to sound the same. Um, it should be an interesting journey. I don't use the GX100 like that typically as a pedal board but I, we did one on the SD1 and I thought it was kind of fun to see how they stacked up and I thought it would be uh, neat to do another one here. Special thanks to KNS Music for letting us borrow this pedal and check it out. I've teamed up with KNS Music to offer you a 10% discount off the price of the item featured in this video. Simply use the coupon code RC10 online, by phone, or in person. KNS Music offers fantastic prices and outstanding service before and after the sale. Save some money and support a locally owned music store at the same time. I'll receive a small percentage of the sale as well to help support this channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. I'd really appreciate any help you can give in in helping this channel to grow by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the video content. And let's get to it. Alright folks, we're going to compare the pedal version of the Boss Distortion DS1 with the DS1 that's in the latest firmware of the Boss GX100. See if they sound similar. I'm just running my Strat into the DS1 pedal into the GX100, direct into my orange Super Crush 100 amp on the clean channel. So I'm going to kind of set the pedal roughly where this is. And the controls don't totally line up, but this will give us an idea. So here's my clean sound. All right, so let's run through it. We'll start off with the pedal. So I'm going to just back the tone back just a smidge. That sounds good. Okay. It's our starting point, so we'll come over here to the this one. We'll back this off a couple. So since we're here, we're just going to increase the gain, and we'll go about like there. Bring our gain there. Pedal. So if we increase the gain again. Nice. So we'll go back to the GX. Increase the drive to about there, I guess. Probably back this down another. We'll just continue with the GX100. I'm going to crank up gain to about there. Increase the gain over here to about there. the gain to here. Okay. 
Not bad. Increase our gain roughly to the same. Very nice. Let's crank this thing up. Great. So with that, I'm going to just back my volume down. Let's see if it cleans up a little bit. Volume knobs on about five. About seven. About nine. And then crank. That's very nice. Let's do the same thing on the pedal. So we'll crank the pedal up. Back the volume back, go back to about five. Seven. All right, I think uh, my opinion is being in this room with this, I think they sound very similar. I can't really tell the difference uh, between them. What I can tell the difference on is feel. So the DS1 that's built in the GX100, I think has a little more pleasing compression and a little bit more sustain. It seems like the notes are just singing um, on the GX100, where on the pedal version of it, it seems like it's a little uh, drier, for lack of a better word. But the notes are just zinging out of, of the one that's in the Boss GX100. So that would be the big difference. Tone-wise, I can't tell a difference. Uh, but feel-wise, I think, in my opinion, I think the GX100 actually feels a little better because of that extra compression. Um, and the sustain that seems to be in there, the notes are just singing in it. Pretty cool. I don't generally use that pedal in the in the GX100 either, so that's a neat discovery for me too. This is a, a journey just to find out how this stuff works, and it's been uh, very eye-opening to me, and it's a lot of fun to try and do. I hope you find this video useful and helpful, and I really appreciate your time watching it, and you have a fantastic day.